Okay, so if you're getting yourself nice and comfortable now, we're going to start charging up the magnetic field of our bodies with our breath. Huge, beautiful breaths in. And when you're breathing in, you want to really feel into breath, the breath into the lungs and then to the base of the lungs, expanding your bellies. Huge, beautiful breaths in. And it's like those, those lungs were filling them and that feeling of stretch, which can feel uncomfortable if you've not stretched the full capacity of the lungs for a while. <sighs> Big breath, and it's like as you hit that full capacity, just let it drop out. And then another huge big breath in. And then relax it out. You want to hit the breath so it's like nothing, you can't fit any more in. And then as you get to that point, it's almost like a little bit of a pause as you realize I can't get any more breath in. And then let it just fall out. And as it falls out, we're allowing the relaxation to keep coming through. We're not forcing the breath out. Allowing the breath in and then relaxing the breath out. And as we do this, we're creating already this wave and this vacuum through our chest, through our lungs. Pulling in and allowing out, creating that wave of energy, that wave of movement. And as you start to breathe, you start to move the quantum field around you into that ripple, into that wave as well. And as we consciously connect into our breath within the ether energies, the energy of pure potential, breathing in the ether and breathing out the ether, creating them spiral waves of movement, of motion through the energetic field, through the air around us. And the more you allow your, your mind to visualize this process, you might start to add a color to this, like the golden sunlight. And as you breathe in, we're going to ignite, like we're lining up little sparks within the cells of the body, within the tissue of the body. And we're pulling in that E for energy. We're pulling in the oxygen. Like we're charging our battery. Just as you'd rub a balloon to get that static charge, it's almost like we're doing that to charge up our energy field, to strengthen our field, to create more electricity through our bodies, through our cells. like a T charge through ourselves and keep breathing this through. And as you do, we're going to keep allowing it to flush through and we're going to flush through the joint. So anywhere that is stiff now, allowing that breath, that spiral in sunlight to keep coming through the joints now. And as you relax into it, it can come into the joints without actually coming in through the breath. You can start pulling it in with your breath, but directly into each joint. Like it's pouring in from the ether, from the outside into the joints and it's swirling and the breath out, it's coming out. It's washing out any stagnation. And you can do this with every joint of the body now. Relax your mind. It's almost like a dream, like an imagination field. And even all those little joints in the feet, breathing the air in, like you're sucking it in from the ether that surrounds your feet, in and through all those little joints and bones, and then letting it wash out. And every breath now starting to pull in throughout your entire body. Even when you think of your back, it's like, I'm breathing in through my spine, through the discs of my spine. And we're allowing that swirl, that light swirl to go through every joint. And if you do feel you need to twist, you need to stretch while you're doing this process, allow the movement if it's needed. And every breath out, letting go of the stagnation. And the stagnation can be emotional, it can be mental. It can be just from lack of movement. Whatever's stuck in there, breathe it out as you keep inviting in the ether, the ether of light, of pure potential. 
and start to now feel into your shoulders and your shoulder blades. Are they stiff? What are you holding on to? Pulling the breath as if you're breathing directly into the joints of your shoulders. Spiraling that through and then relaxing it out. And as you relax it out, you're going to give your muscles, your joints permission. Let go, relax as we breathe through the arms and the elbows. What are the elbows holding on to? Have they stretched? Is the lots in the forearms, in those tendons that go down to the wrists? Breathe into the tendons, breathe into all those joints that they connect into around the elbow, around the wrist. And then let it go. Invite in light, invite in movement. Flexibility equals strength. When you are flexible, you actually have a greater capacity for strength. You're less likely to get injured. Feel into the hands and the hand joints. <laughs> Pardon me. We're going to breathe in through each joint, through the fingers, through the thumbs right into the joints and you want to feel almost like this swirl motion go through every joint of the fingers and the hands and then we're going to breathe it out and breathing it in and breathing it out straight through now as we think into the neck so as we're doing this now see if you can start layering the areas so every time you breathe your feet are still breathing in and letting go. And your legs are still breathing in and letting go. And your back is and your shoulders and your spine. Let's concentrate a little bit more on the neck. So even as we're breathing, we're allowing everywhere we've already intended to carry on as we continue up into the neck, breathing in the ethers. Swirling it straight to the base of the spine the neck into the head as well and letting it go. And we're going to feel into our skull and we're going to feel into all those fixed bones within our skull. And we're going to breathe into the joints, the joints of the head that are called those fixed bones or fixed joints. We're going to breathe right into them. Lighting up all the cracks so they come beaming with light and then relaxing it go. Almost like you can start to move and the, the skull can start to have a little bit more flexibility. And then feel into the bones of the face. And we're going to breathe through all those cracks, all those little joints of the face. We're going to loosen it through the joints, especially when you think through to your eyebrows and your nose and even through the palate and the roof of the mouth going inside of your head, breathing into all those cracks, all where the joints went together when you were forming in the womb. And we're breathing in and we're letting them go. It can be a lot of tension that builds up. I don't know if you've ever had a head massage and they start to go into those joints, there can be pain in them. Breathe in and let the flow of whatever is trapped in there start to really loosen. And as we loosen the head, let's go down to the thick joints of the hips. And we're going to breathe into those fixed hip joints that actually become quite pliable when you have those pregnancy hormones. They do allow for that movement, for that stretch to occur. Allow the breath to go through into those hips, through all the fixed joints. And again, allow for movement. Can I allow a bit of flexibility? Can it become a little bit more bendy in a way, flexible? When you think of when a bone has a bit of um, ply, you know, it applies or it can move a little bit. It's actually a lot stronger. If it's if it's brittle, it's gonna snap. It's gonna it's gonna break. But if it has a little bit of give, a little bit of that flexible give, it's so much stronger. And we're allowing that to just pour through these joints. And let's connect the field up now. So as we're bringing this in all around, as you can even feel into yourself, a split in two a little bit here. 
the magnetic field coming out around the split through the face, through the chest, through the belly, through the two individualized legs and arms. Feeling your core and that split through. And we're just going to allow it like it's a huge magnetic field now. And as we've got the flow coming in through the joints, we're going to allow the flow to come in and around us, around the magnetic field. And it does reach out right the way through our backs, right the way around us, almost like the rib cages even show that flow as well. Flowing out of our center, out and around us. A huge magnetic field and the pulsation, the beat of the heart right in its core, creating that energetic pulse, the electricity, allowing the magnetic field to stabilize with every heartbeat, energized and stabilized as we keep allowing and welcoming in and integration through the ether to enhance our energy field, to enhance our body's flow through every joint. And let's connect this field up as we connect into the heart, into the electricity of the heart. And we're going to plug ourselves through from the heart all the way through into infinite consciousness. Connecting to the higher field of pure creation energy, allowing that to pour down into the vortex of your magnetic field, of your heart's field, and then breathe it down into the vortex of the core of the earth. Allowing the magnetic field of the earth to enhance the flow into your own joints, your own body, your own magnetic field. We're going to keep breathing and softening at the same time. It's like I'm breathing in strength, but I'm breathing in flexibility, movement. And as we feel into this now, we're going to go into that stephoid bone in the face like a mask almost like a, a batman mask over the face behind the eyes so just relax your consciousness now can i feel it can i feel where it is and already when you feel into it you might already start to feel stuff starting to flow through your sinuses so what we're going to do is we're going to really start to energize this bone. We're going to light it up like a mask that is behind the eye sockets. And we're relaxing, but we're lighting this up. And you might have emotions coming through. And as we're lighting it up now, we're going to ask for an alignment. Feel into it. Does it slightly go to one side? You can maybe even feel it into your hands if you want to feel it holographically in your head. Or you can feel it physically in your head. If there's emotions around it, if they're collected in your face for whatever reason, keep flushing those emotions out, those thoughts out. Anything that's stuck in the sinuses, allow it to keep flowing out as well. Allowing the magnetic field, that swirl, that vortex to keep flowing the energy in and taking the energy out that is stuck, that is heavy. And as we relax further into filling this bone up with that golden frequency, with a beautiful sunlight frequency, Almost like we're separating it from the skull. But we're just brightening it up all the way around every single joint that connects it into any other part of the skull. And this is one bone. This is, this is a full piece of a bone. And we're lighting that piece up. Like a mask behind the eyes, behind the eye sockets, just really brightening it up. And then just feel into the disalignment of that. It'll be leaning a little bit more to one side than the other. And I want you now to relax even more. And you're going to straighten it now with intention. 
relax, don't force it, complete relaxation and command. Command for it to align within your own skull. You might feel a crack. You might feel an energetic shift. Keep allowing that gentle alignment energy keep coming through. Mine is cracking at the moment, so we're going to allow you just to have, give it time. Keep allowing it to crack into place, move into place as we adjust. And we're going to allow now that light to keep spiraling through the skull bones. Whatever other bones within the skull have to shift to allow the full alignment of this, this bone, this staphoid bone in the face. And as you do, stretch your spine up tall. Allow your hips, your body to feel the alignment take place. Do your shoulders shift too? Does your spine shift too? Relaxing the hips. Are they allowing the movement? Blushing through every joint as we command this alignment to align and to stay aligned. And as we're going to ripple through, if it's still not shifted for some of you, just ripple through that laughter, that joy energy. We're not forcing anything, we're allowing the alignment, the natural alignment, which is not normal for humanity, but should be. Beautiful. I might feel a shift through your face. And it might just be energy just coming out of different areas. Just allow that alignment to keep settling into place with that, that command, that intention. I align my, I align this bone. And by aligning this bone, I align my body into balance, into harmony, like the scales. Through the shoulders, through the back, through the hips through the legs. And if you do feel like you need a twist, if a muscle needs to be stretched, maybe somewhere's got a little bit more uncomfortable, stretch, move, and then feel back into the skull. Am I aligned? And you'll feel it, it's a wave of joy when I just ask that then. Am I now aligned? If you're getting a no, if you're not getting that full wave of joy, just feel into it again. What is in the way? Am I in the way of it happening? Are your thoughts in the way? Let them go. Trust. You are more than capable. You are a divine, divine spark of pure creation in this vessel. This is your temple. It's yours to mold and manipulate however you choose, for it is your vessel, your body. And we're going to breathe, soften and relax as we electrify through the skull, through the brain, through the nervous system. Allowing that visual, the beautiful electric current, and you can pour it in from the ethers, from pure creation itself, and from the magnetic field of the ground. And we're going to electrify through the nervous system, the body, to hold more vibration, to hold more light of your own essence. And again, you can use your breath to... Charge it up. And then feel into your body, feel into the magnetic field as those two scales that are harmonized, that are in balance. Am I in balance? 
Is each side feeling homage to the other side? Can I now completely stay still and feel the stillness run through the core of my body? Harmonized by the flow around me. Beautiful. Let's flush this alignment energy right through into the toroidal field of the earth. Right through into the earth is just the same kind of shape as you are. This beautiful toroidal field of a magnetic field. And let's allow for the alignment of ourselves now to assist in anything within the earth that requires alignment, that needs a that needs a, some kind of reminder, some kind of template to allow it to align, allowing yourself to be that template. As we connect with the earth and we offer this balancing energy, this harmonizing energy into the field of the Earth's consciousness, the collective field of humanity, as we allow balance, harmony, and a full alignment of the body of the Earth for the highest good of all. Beautiful, and let's just pause for a moment while you fully allow the integration, feeling into your own alignment, aligning with the earth, and then back now, thanking the earth as we fully align within your own home, your own room, even feeling into the home. As you align your body, is the quantum field of your house, your room, is that aligned with you or is it going to push you out of balance? Just aligning the quantum field of the existence of the matter around you, the room, the furniture, the whole house. And as we feel the alignment of the home through the ground, through the connection to pure infinite consciousness. We're just going to pause and allow that to integrate even more light through you and through the home. And then you can take a nice big deep breath. Feeling back into your hands, into your feet. And when you are ready, you can open your eyes. <laughs>